The full moon is the lunar phase when the moon appears fully illuminated from Earth's perspective. This occurs when Earth is located directly between the Sun and the Moon, more exactly, when the ecliptic longitudes of the Sun and Moon differ by 180 degrees. This means that the lunar hemisphere facing Earth the near side is completely sunlit and appears as a circular disk, while the far side is dark. The full Moon occurs once roughly every month. When the Moon moves into Earth's shadow, a lunar eclipse occurs during which all OR part of the Moon's face may appear reddish due to the Rayleigh scattering of blue wavelengths and the refraction of sunlight through Earth's atmosphere. Lunar eclipses happen only during full Moon and around points on its orbit where the satellite may pass through the planet's shadow. A lunar eclipse does not occur every month because the Moon's orbit is inclined 5.14 degrees to the ecliptic plane, thus, the Moon usually passes north or south of Earth's shadow, which is mostly restricted to this plane of reference. Lunar eclipses happen only when the full Moon occurs around either node of its orbit, ascending or descending. Therefore, a lunar eclipse occurs approximately every six months and often two weeks before or after a solar eclipse, which occurs during new Moon around the opposite node. The interval period between a new or full moon and the next same phase, a synodic month, averages about 29.53 days. Therefore, in those lunar calendars in which each month begins on the day of the new moon, the full moon falls on either the 14th or 15th day of the lunar month. Because a calendar month consists of a whole number of days, a lunar month may be either 29 or 30 days long. Characteristics A full moon is often thought of as an event of a full night's duration. This is somewhat misleading because its phase seen from Earth continuously waxes or wanes, though much too slowly to notice in real time with the naked eye. Its maximum illumination occurs at the moment waxing has stopped. For any given location, about half of these maximum full moons may be visible, while the other half occurs during the day when the full moon is below the horizon. Many almanacs list full moons not only by date, but also by their exact time, usually in Coordinated Universal Time, UTC. Typical monthly calendars that include lunar phases may be offset by one day when used in a different time zone. Full moon is generally a suboptimal time to conduct astronomical observations because the bright sunlight reflected by the moon then outshines the apparently dimmer stars. On December 12, 2008, the full moon occurred closer to the Earth than it had been at any time for the previous 15 years, called a supermoon. On March 19, 2011, another full supermoon occurred closer to the Earth than at any time for the previous 18 years. On November 14, 2016, a full supermoon occurred closer to the Earth than at any time for the previous 68 years. In Folklore and Tradition Full moons are traditionally associated with temporal insomnia, inability to sleep, insanity, hence the terms lunacy and lunatic and various magical phenomena such as lycanthropy. Psychologists, however, have found that there is no strong evidence for effects on human behavior around the time of a full moon. They find that studies are generally not consistent, with some showing a positive effect and others showing a negative effect. In one instance, the December 23, 2000 issue of the British Medical Journal published two studies on dog bite admission to hospitals in England and Australia. The study of the Bradford Royal Infirmary found that dog bites were twice as common during a full moon, whereas the study conducted by the public hospitals in Australia found that they were less likely. All this is relevant to canine rather than human behavior. Full Moon Names Historically. Month names are names of moons, lunations, not necessarily full moons, in lunisolar calendars. Since the introduction of the solar Julian calendar in the Roman Empire, and later the Gregorian calendar worldwide, people no longer perceive month names as moon names. The traditional Old English month names were equated with the names of the Julian calendar from an early time, 
soon after Christianization, according to the testimony of Bede CAAD 700. Some full moons have developed new names in modern times, e.g., the Blue Moon, and the names Harvest Moon and Hunter's Moon for the full moons of autumn. Harvest and Hunter's Moons The Harvest Moon and Hunter's Moon are traditional terms for the full moons occurring during late summer and in the autumn, in the Northern Hemisphere usually in September and October respectively. The Harvest Moon is the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox, 22 or September 23rd, coming anywhere from two weeks before to two weeks after that date. The Hunter's Moon is the full moon following it. The names are recorded from the early 18th century. The Oxford English Dictionary entry for Harvest Moon cites a 1706 reference, and for Hunter's Moon a 1710 edition of the British Apollo, where the term is attributed to the country people, the country people call this the Hunter's Moon. The names became traditional in American folklore, where they are now often popularly attributed to the Native Americans. The Feast of the Hunter's Moon is a yearly festival in West Lafayette, Indiana, held in late September or early October each year since 1968. In 2010, the Harvest Moon occurred on the night of Equinox itself, some 512 hours after the point of Equinox, for the first time since 1991. All full moons rise around the time of sunset. Because the moon moves eastward among the stars faster than the sun its meridian passage is delayed, causing it to rise later each day on average by about 50.47 minutes. The harvest moon and hunter's moon are unique because the time difference between moon rises on successive evenings is much shorter than average. The moon rises approximately 30 minutes later from one night to the next, as seen from about 40 degrees N or S latitude. This is because a full moon in September appears to move not straight east but northeast in the sky. Thus, there is no long period of darkness between sunset and moonrise for several days following the actual date of the full moon. Farmer's Almanacs The main farmer's almanac from c. the 1930s began to publish Native American Indian full moon names. The Farmer's Almanac, since 1955 published in Maine, but not the same publication as the main farmer's almanac, continues to do so. An early list of Indian month names was published in 1918 by Daniel Carter Beard in his The American Boys Book of Signs, Signals and Symbols for Use by the Boy Scouts. Beard's Indian month names were January, Difficulty, Black Smoke February, Raccoon, Bare Spots on the Ground March, Wind, Little Grass, Sore Eye April, Ducks, Goose Eggs May, Green Grass, Root Food June, Corn Planting, Strawberry July, Buffalo, Bull, Hot Sun August, Harvest, Cow Buffalo September, Wild Rice, Red Plum October, Leaf falling, nuts. November, deer mating, fur pelts. December, wolves, big moon. Such names have gained currency in American folklore. They appear in print more widely outside of the almanac tradition from the 1990s in popular publications about the moon. Mysteries of the Moon by Patricia Haddock, Great Mysteries Series, Greenhaven Press. 1992, gave an extensive list of such names along with the individual tribal groups they were supposedly associated with. Haddock supposes that certain colonial American moon names were adopted from Algonquian languages, which were formerly spoken in the territory of New England, while others are based in European tradition, e.g., the colonial American names for the May Moon, Milk Moon, Mother's Moon, Hair Moon have no parallels in the supposed native names, while the name of November, Beaver Moon is supposedly based in the Algonquin. The individual names given in Farmer's Almanac include January, Wolf Moon, this is the name of December in Beard 1918, 
also old moon. February, snow moon, also hunger moon. March, worm moon, crow moon, sap moon, lenten moon. April, seed moon, pink moon, sprouting grass moon, egg moon, cf goose egg and beard 1918, fish moon. May, milk moon, flower moon, corn planting moon. June, mead moon, strawberry moon, cf beard 1918, rose moon, thunder moon. July, hay moon, buck moon, elk moon, thunder moon. August, corn moon, sturgeon moon, red moon, green corn moon, grain moon. September, harvest moon, full corn moon. October, hunter's moon. Blood Moon slash Sanguine Moon. November, Beaver Moon, Frosty Moon. December, Oak Moon, Cold Moon, Long Night's Moon. The Long Night's Moon is the last of the year and the closest to the winter solstice. In June 2016 the so-called Strawberry Moon coincided with the summer solstice for the first time since 1967, and will not return for another 46 years. Ice moon is also used to refer to the first full moon of February or January. Hindu Full Moon Festivals In Hinduism, most festivals are celebrated on auspicious days. Many of the Hindu festivals are celebrated on days with a full moon at night. Different parts of India celebrate the same day with different names, as listed below. Kshetra Purnima, Gudi Padua, Yogedi, Togedi. Hanuman Jayanti, April 15, 2014. Vaishak Purnima, Narasimit Jayanti, Buddha Jayanti, May 14, 2014. Jayeshtha Purnima, Vatsavitri Vrat Vat Purnima, June 8, 2014. Guru Purnima, the full moon of the Ashad month. Vyas Purnima, Important day for starting education and honoring teachers. Shravan Purnima, good day for starting Upanayan day, Avani Avidam, Raksha Bandhan conceptually Onam also comes on this day. Badrapad Purnima, start of Pitrapaksha, Madhug Purnima. Ashvin Purnima, Sherad Purnima. Kartik Purnima, Thrakarthika. Margasir Shah Purnima, Thiruvathara. Dathatriya Jayanthi. Pusha Purnima, Tapuzam, Shekam Hari Purnima. Maga Purnima. Falguna Purnima, Holy. Lunar and Luni Solar Calendars. Most pre modern calendars the world over were Luni Solar, combining the solar year with the lunation by means of intercalary months. The Julian calendar abandoned this method in favor of a purely solar reckoning while conversely the 7th century Islamic calendar opted for a purely lunar one. A continuing lunisolar calendar is in the Hebrew calendar. Evidence of this is noted in the dates of Passover and Easter in Judaism and Christianity, respectively. The date of the Jewish Rosh Hashanah and Sukkot festivals along with all other Jewish holidays are dependent on the dates of the new moons. Intercalary Months In lunisolar calendars, an intercalary month occurs seven times in the 19 years of the Metanic cycle, or on average every 2.7 years, 19 sevenths. In the Hebrew calendar this is noted with a periodic extra month of Adar in the early spring. Blue Moon In the modern system of traditional full moon names tied to the solstice and equinox points, a supernumerary full moon in such a period is called a blue moon. The term blue moon used in this sense may date to as early as the 16th century, but it became well known in the United States due to the Farmer's Almanac, published since 1818. According to the Farmer's Almanac, a blue moon is the third full moon in any period between either solstice and equinox, or between equinox and solstice calculated using the mean tropical year, which contains four full moons. These seasons are equal in length, unlike the astronomical ones, 
which vary in length depending on the Earth's speed in its elliptical orbit round the Sun. To compare, in 1983 the equal length seasons began at 1.48 am on March 23, 9.15 am on June 22, 4.42 pm on September 21 and 12.10 am on December 22, while the astronomical seasons began at 4.39 am on March 21, 11.09 pm on June 21, 2.42 p.m. on September 23rd and 10.30 a.m. on December 22nd, all times GMT. Due to a misinterpretation of this definition in the March 1946 Sky and Telescope magazine, Blue Moon has also been used in the sense of the second full moon in any month which contains two full moons. This usage has been noted as erroneous by Sky and Telescope in 1999. According to either definition, blue moons occur with the average frequency of intercalary months, seven times in 19 years, the Farmer's Almanac system of full moon names effectively defining a lunisolar calendar. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.